You see this mess? It's all my fault. Even though this may look like an action movie, this is actually a love story. When I was 15, me and my mom went on vacation. I basically didn't say a word the whole time. I had just gotten braces and I felt so ugly. Come on, honey. Just try to enjoy your vacation. How can I? I look like I just ate a fence. But you need your braces. I know I do. That's why I told you I didn't want to leave the house all summer. Yeah, I was a bit of a brat. But can you blame me? I was a moody 15-year-old girl and my smile looked like a meat grinder. I stayed in the vacation house all day and would only go out at night to take walks by the beach. One night, I was walking and I saw someone in front of me. It was a boy. I couldn't really tell what he looked like because we were both in the shadows. The moon was the only light we could see. Can't sleep either. Something like that. Actually, that's not why I'm out here. I don't want people to see me during the day because I have braces and I look horrible. You have braces too? Yeah, do you? Yeah, I look like I ate a can of tuna fish. Well, your shadow's pretty. We hung out for a while and talked about how we both loved musicals and theater. He was funny and I made him laugh a lot too. He told me his name was Kyle. The next night, I went out and I saw him again. We kept meeting up in the darkness every night. And then, on our last night there, the sun's coming up soon. We should go. What if we stayed and waited for the light? I don't care if you have braces. I already think you're beautiful. So we sat there and waited for the sun. And when it rose, I finally saw him and he saw me. He was the cutest boy I ever saw, especially because of the braces. He leaned in to kiss me, but his mom called him. And then my mom called me. It was time to go. Promise me something. Never hide yourself in the dark again, okay? Okay. I watched him go. His words stuck with me. And from then on, I started auditioning for shows and didn't mind my braces. Pretty soon, I was the most famous dancer in my whole town. Kyle and I talked online for a while, but I got busy doing plays and eventually we lost touch. I never thought I would see him again. And then, a few years later, on the opening night of the play at my community theater, everything changed. I had a slow dance solo in a sad scene, but I was really nervous because at all of our rehearsals, the boy who was working the spotlight could never keep up with my dancing. I danced, and to my surprise, I didn't slip out of the light at all, not even for a second.